guys, welcome back to Brick Sand Garage. For those that don't know, uh, my name is Richie, and this is my 89 C4 Corvette. Um, it's got, just got an LS turbo swap in it, run on Holly Terminator X. Um, and with that said, uh, today I just wanted to go over some of the wiring um, because I'm starting to look into what I do need and what I don't need. Um, and there's a lot of questions online and not as many answers about um, deleting the stock ECU, the wiring that you don't need. Um, so I'll just kind of go ahead, bring you guys in a little closer and tell you what I'm up to. All right, so we'll start with the stock setup. You have your ECU, I'll actually show you where that is. It's gonna be over here. All right, well, the ECU is right here. I ended up bolting it back in. It was under here loose for a while, but you can see this is, I mean, I need to get my wiring cleaned up because I've been driving around for, you know, like eight months, nine months like this. But um, a lot of this stuff is like the Holly stuff, which is here, here. I mean, I just got to get all this stuff straightened out. But basically this harness that comes down right here out of this, ECU, the bundle comes out through here, goes through the firewall right there. Up out of a little, uh, pretty big connector down here. You kind of see a glimpse of the corner down there. And it comes up, I have it all zip tied. You can see the mess that I have. And it comes up, runs through here, kind of splits off with a few different pigtails going elsewhere. And this big thick one right here runs down to the other side right here and then right here you have your mass airflow relays you have like a it's a burn off relay and then you have your normal mass airflow relay i don't even know what that stuff means to be honest but those relays are right here so if you have a mass airflow code or something and it's not your mass airflow sensor. Maybe you have a peek at these of the wiring. These are fusible links. As you can see, some of them have gotten chewed. Pretty much all of them have gotten chewed. And there's one here that's completely fried. Um, I think it might be this, maybe this Lone Ranger over here or something. But I get to replace all these. I'm gonna replace them with um, inline fuse. Uh, fuses from Amazon. They have like 30 amp fuses. I gotta figure out how many amp these are, but um, might just throw some 30 amps in there. Gotta figure it out. Um, but basically, this whole thing can go. Like, you don't need any of these fusible links. Those are for probably injectors and whatever miscellaneous stuff um, is run through here. So I'm gonna be able to get rid of this whole connector. The thing is, I can't just like rip it off the fire wall and throw it all away because it comes through here and there's these things that split off of it. Like right here, off the bat, this is your uh, fuel relay connector, which I don't need anymore. I don't need any of that, you know, timing stuff. But one thing I need is my wiper motor and that goes into here. So I, I get a basically take all this wire loom off, follow it through, there's miscellaneous, like several things, probably the blower, the HVAC blower's in there. I'm gonna wanna save that. So I'll just, I'll have to pull it apart, separate it, and then, um, uh, you know, re-sleeve it in this loom. But I'll get some new stuff, because this is just oil saturated, and that's not good for it. This one right here, actually I'll show you where these plug in. So these two connectors basically come in like this, they click together, and then this one right here, which goes out front, is for everything out front, like your radiator fans. Um, I think it's your radiator fans. Pretty sure. Yeah, your yeah, because you have your relay connectors on here. So you get ra radiator fans, headlights, so high low, fog lights, directionals, and those come through here, ran under here, and goes into this top connector. And then that goes up under your instrument panel and you know all that good stuff so this one i don't want to touch other than pulling it apart taking all the fan um control you know all those wires and relay connectors off because i have 
I'm going to rewire my fan, uh, which will be in a later video. Um, and yeah, so I don't want to beat it too hard, but oh, this is your um, basically your bus terminal where all of these all of these um, fusible links piled on there with this batter, battery cable. And this just goes straight to your battery connector. And that's how everything kind of like ties off to, um, you know, get power to the rest of the vehicle. Basically, my plan is to get rid of the ECU and its wiring. I'm the All the blower motor and HVAC stuff is separate other than the, um, I think your AC is switched on from the ECU. So you have a wire going from your ECU to your AC unit, but I don't have AC. As you can see, I have a little box I welded up to replace that. And then I'm basically gonna rewire, uh, I'm gonna have a couple bus bars somewhere up here, probably right where these relays are mounted. I'm gonna unscrew that, those eight millimeter bolts, take this off and probably mount two buses there. Um, and then probably two buses. Yeah, maybe maybe two buses here and a couple buses here. Uh, two will be ground and one will be a clean ground and a dirty ground. And the other ones are gonna be uh, positive and it's gonna be your clean positive and dirty positive. Um, from, you know, I don't know too much about uh, wiring and electronics, but I know that you wanna separate your, um, basically your control side from uh, all the high voltage stuff like your starter and anything to do with your alternator, lighting, fans, all that stuff. You want to separate those from like your boost controller, your, uh, and I don't mean boost solenoid. The solenoid is going to be on a dirty bus, but you're going to want to separate all that stuff. This will um, avoid any voltage drops or voltage spikes in your system that could cause issues or wipe memories and stuff. So I'm going to do this slowly and one step at a time because it's not my specialty. Feel free to follow along, ask questions, and give me advice as we go. But yeah, so that's what I got going on with this car. I have a lot more stuff going on outside of this garage um, and inside as well, which we'll get to later. Um, but I'm going to try and tackle this one step at a time. I'll make sure I keep on posting, keeping you guys updated, answering questions, and hopefully providing somewhat useful information. Hopefully before spring, we'll get this thing wrapped up, get the Maverick rolled out of the snowbank into the garage, started on that, going to Winterport Dragway to do some drag racing. But that's it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.